Hi, Yarnabees. It's me, Crochet Bee, back by popular demand, um, brought to you by our sponsor, What's in My Cup. In this case, Old Milwaukee Beer. Why? Because it's cheap. And I'm here with another tale from the carpet trail. In fact, this is probably the most important tale that I can tell you. And it's a love story. So gather all around and sit around like we're sitting at the campfire and I'll tell you the story. Once upon a time, actually seven years ago, in a mystical land called Nanaimo, populated by many mystical creatures, there are no fairies, or excuse me, there are no elves or trolls, but yes, there are plenty of fairies. There was a mighty king. He was very handsome, very powerful, and he was also the world's greatest carpetologist. And he went out to the kingdom of Nanaimo and all the surrounding kingdoms, and he cleaned everyone's carpets and furniture and upholstery in their homes and businesses. He was much loved and handsomely rewarded. But sadly, the mighty king was living all alone in his castle by the sea. Some years ago, he was forced to divorce the queen after 35 years because she had been invaded by evil spirits. So he was forced to flee to protect his sanity and was now living alone with the royal dog, Odie, who spent her day snoring by his side. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, there was a beautiful queen. She was the queen of crochet, and she had moved here from the land of Surrey. After a few years back, her king had unexpectedly passed away, so she moved away. She spent her days sitting in her royal throne, crocheting away, wondering if she would ever find another king again worthy of the king that she had. Well, the mighty king also wondered if one day he might also find his next queen. As it happened, one day an evil spirit invaded the royal crochet queen's cat, Bella causing her to have diarrhea all over the apartment. In a panic, the royal queen consulted the oracle, the telephone book, and found an ad that said premier carpet cleaning, where dirt meets its doom at 30 bucks a room. She contacted the mighty king and he came right over. He brought all of his fearsome weapons to battle the mighty evil diarrhea to remove from the carpet in her apartment. He buzzed the apartment and went in, knocked on the door, and as he stepped through the door, he suddenly gazed into the eyes, the amazing eyes of the most beautiful woman he had ever seen. And a magic spell befell him. It was called love at first sight and he knew at that moment that his long search was over and he had at last found his queen. What he did not know was the magic spell had also invaded the queen as well and she knew that at long last her king had arrived. Today the king and queen live in the king's castle by the sea where dogs and cats live together. And now there is a new dog called Bailey has also been added to the royal family. And the three of them, and we all live very happily ever after. The queen continues to sit on her throne and crochet all day and occasionally goes online and talks on the computer. Well, the king continues to go out and spread his carpetology far and wide to the kingdom of Nanaimo and all the surrounding kingdoms. And this is the end of our story. And of course, as we all know, the king and queen and the dogs and cats continue to live happily ever after. That's 
Oh, look, there's the queen. <laughs> That's my story for today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.